A drone needs a certain amount of power, called the required or necessary power, in order to keep flying. It's mandatory that generated power be equal or greater than the required power. The power required to keep the drone in flight affects the energy requested from the battery. This translates into a decrease in flight time. Now the question is, if starting from a hovering condition, increasing the horizontal translation speed, the power increases or decreases? By increasing the horizontal velocity, the rotation speed of the propellers also will increase, and therefore the speed of the air passing through the rotor. But since the force is proportional to the square of the speed, and the power is equal to force per velocity, we deduce that the power is proportional to the cube of the speed. Actually, the power can be divided into three subgroups. Blade profile power, parasitic power, and induced power. Blade profile power is the power needed to keep the rotor in motion, or the power needed to overcome the profile resistance of the propeller blades. It increases quadratically with respect to the speed. We can observe its trend as the speed varies. Parasitic power is the power necessary to overcome the resistance of all the components of the drone that don't have a particularly aerodynamic shape, such as the frame, the landing gear and other parts composing the structure. It increases in a cubic way with respect to the speed. We can observe its trend as the speed varies. Finally, induced power is the power required to overcome the resistance of the accelerated airflow induced by the propeller blades. When the drone is in transition, the forward speed is added to the induced speed generated by the rotor. To produce lift, the rotor must generate less induced speed than in the overing condition. Consequently, the induced power decreases as the speed increases. We can observe its trend graphically. At this point, we can add the three contribution to have the trend of the total power as a function of speed. What can we see from the graph? Moving away from overing condition, the required power starts to decrease reaching a minimum, then going up. This means that for low forward speed the power is lower than that required to keep the drone in overing. So the maximum flight time doesn't occur at overing, but at a speed corresponding to the minimum point of the function.